Zachariah, a pleasure as always. What may I do for you? Andrew mean anything to you? Huh. One might as well inquire if my own name bears meaning for me. How could it not? For with that name is resurrected horrible memories of a horrible scar that cuts across the school's otherwise illustrious history. Scars that share a similar depth and origin as that which cuts across your face. Have you forgotten? He enrolled at the same time as you, found his roots in outsiders, just like you. But his family were traitors. From the beginning of his apprenticeship, we found ourselves at a loss. How much of his excess fluid should be drained? Needless to say, we misjudged. His potential to be the greatest among us was forever lost and turned against us in a torrent of chaos as students like yourself fell under the debris. Then what happened to him? He lost an arm in the accident and did not survive. Hi. Lieutenant, how can I help you? Made the traps you suggested. Now they just have to be set to catch the locusts. And I'll make sure they find their way to the tunnels. Keep the filthy things from reaching the surface and poaching our goods. And Lieutenant, thank you for caring. The poorest of us rarely get shown such concern. It's your lucky day. I need a favor, if you have the time on top of the missions the captain already gave you. Depends on the favor. Soldiers back from the front are barricaded inside the warehouse. But they think Aurora's outside and they're in the middle of a war zone. They terrorize the merchants, but honestly, that's not even the worst of it. According to internal reports, they're not just soldiers. 
They're test subjects for a new combat drug that increases their strength tenfold. Their paranoia is probably a result of the drug, but it makes the situation even more dangerous. I would prefer it if you could reason with them. You could use force, but in their state, the drugs could push them over the edge. A straight-up fight could kill them. First things first, we need to help get them quarantined and away from civilians to prevent further collateral damage. I know you're up to your neck and other responsibilities, but please, this is a favor for me and a favor for the guys. If the ASC handles it instead, I know I'm gonna be writing letters of condolences. Don't let it come to that. How's he think a noob who's not even a real soldier will be able to reason with a corporal hopped up on some super drug? He knows technomancers aren't magicians, right? Pipe down, Lieutenant will find a way. Maybe we just need to find the Corporal's family to help talk him down. Look at me, <laughs> I'm just full of ideas. Soldier, please let me in. It's imperative I speak to so- Ma'am, your husband. He's one of the soldiers who returned yesterday? Yes! I'm Corporal Tyrone Ward's wife. So he is back? Why haven't I been permitted to see him? What's wrong? Ma'am, he's safe, but he's scared. Paranoid. Suffering severe post-traumatic stress. So what I need for you to do is tell me something. Anything that might help me convince him to listen. Before he gets himself killed. Tell him I'm here. Tell him I'm waiting to see him. Dying to see him. Tell him about the ribbon he sent me for my hair, and that it's not just me waiting anymore. That he's... we're... going to have a child soon. Hey there, Fiorello. Ah, the one, the only, Zachariah Manser. A pleasure as always. What brings you here this fine day? What made you want a mutant for a bodyguard? All over in my travels, I saw merchants with mercenary companions. People who had abandoned their high rank in a corporation for the chance to travel. For Zero. Hired thugs. Loyal only to the serum they are paid in. A dangerous circumstance. And one that often saw those thugs turn on their employers. A mutant, however, may be less intelligent, but far more loyal. At least if fed well. And just look at him! The personification of intimidation. His size alone tells the story. Excuse me, soldier. I want to... Freeze! Not another step! That uniform ain't fooling anyone, asshole! Hey, what are you? A war spy? Look, I just got back from one hell of a mission, so if my uniform's not up to spec, you'll forgive me. But either tell your superiors I'm back with intel, or explain to them why you kept it from me. Your choice. You just finished spying on the enemy? But why did you say that in the first place? Get in here before your cover's blown! Corporal, let's chat. You wanna chat? Sure, why not? Not like we're at war here. Let's just have a goddamn tea party. Whatever you wanna chat about. 
Oh, shit, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. I didn't see your stripes. Your uniform threw me off, sir. My mistake. <laughs> it's fine, Corporal. Stand down. Listen, Corporal, you're confused. You're scared, and I get that. Not a lot is making sense to you now, but you have to trust me. You're back in Ophir, and your wife, Maya, she's worried about you. Maya? How the hell do you know my wife's name? Did you do something to... Your wife's fine, Corporal. She even told me about that ribbon you sent her. She told you about the ribbon? I don't... I don't understand. There was a goddamn war raging out there. I heard it. We were under siege. If we're in Ophir, you're telling me it's under siege? It was. The fighting's done, though. You held the warehouse like men, so just relax and return to your barracks. Rest. And wait for your wife. She has some good news for you. Good news? Of what? The best kind, trust me. The kind that'll be a reason to stay safe. Stay alive. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Men. Listen up. Lower your arms. We're heading back to the barracks. On the double. Hi. Lieutenant, how can I help you? I solved your problem, Quartermaster. Is that so? And how'd it go? No lives lost. But if we don't find an antidote to the drug, I doubt those men will see a day outside a cell for the rest of their lives. Thanks, Lieutenant. We owe you one. A friend of mine working on the test actually sent us a sample, and we should be able to make an antidote with it. Eventually, I hope. Give me the sample. I know someone who could probably find the cure quickly. Thank you, Lieutenant. If he succeeds, he will help us out a lot. Here, take this. 